All right, so today we are going to be creating a Bitcoin node on a Raspberry Pi 4. So you can say goodbye to third party transactions and hello to your own. And hello to PCBWay.com. PCBWay is a service that allows you to create custom PCB prototypes, flexible PCBs, 3D printing, and much more. And when comparing PCBWay to other PCB printing services, you might notice that PCBWay automatically upgrades all of their standard PCBs to TG150-164 free. They also provide you with a quick order PCB section to help you pick and design your PCBs nice and quickly. PCBWay also automatically gives new members $5 for free, so I say that's a pretty nice bonus. And they recently reduced the price of the 4 and 6 layer PCBs up to 20%. So if you were thinking of purchasing PCBs, especially 4 or 6 layer ones, PCBWay has you covered. So what is a Bitcoin node? Well, a Bitcoin node is something that will allow you to complete transactions while not relying on anyone else, but completely on your own hardware. And you may ask, well, why should I do this? Well, running a Bitcoin node will make sure that your transactions are more secure. And overall, it just gives you complete control over your transactions. And you're not relying on anyone else or any company to do it. You're doing it all yourself. So if you're still unsure about this, I'll leave a blog post in the description below that you can check out and read more about what a Bitcoin node really does and stuff. But chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably already know what one is. So if you have your mind wrapped around what it is and you know what we're doing, we're going to start out. So the Raspberry Pi 4 is a very cheap computer that you can actually use to run a Bitcoin node. A Raspberry Pi 4 isn't very it's not powerful enough to run a, really run Bitcoin mining, but you can totally run a Bitcoin node on one. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So for this process today, you are going to need one Raspberry Pi 4, an SD card for the base operating system. And you're going to need some sort of external storage to hold the node, the Bitcoin node. So the node is pretty large, coming around at 350 gigabytes. So it's a pretty hefty amount of storage. So you're going to need extra external storage for this process. I will be using this external hard drive enclosure right here, and it should get the job done. And you will also need a power cable for the process and preferably an ethernet cable to have a better connection overall. And once you have all of that, we can jump into installing the operating system. But first of all, what operating system are we going to be using? Well, we're going to be using a beautiful, beautiful operating system named Umbral OS, which makes this whole process incredibly easy. And I say beautiful because it really has an amazing user interface. Umbral OS is kind of like Casa OS, which I've reviewed before. It's a home lab operating system, which happens to have a Bitcoin note in its app store. It seems to be the easiest way to get the setup on a Pi 4. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So with that said, let's dive into the desktop and downloading the operating system onto our Raspberry Pi 4. All right, so here I am on my main PC right now, and I am at the website umbral.com, and this will be linked down below in the description as well. But this is the operating system or the user interface that we're going to be using to complete our task of creating a Bitcoin node on the Raspberry Pi 4. So on the main website right here, you can see there's already a button that says install on a Raspberry Pi 4. So you can go ahead and click that like me right here. It's going to take you all the way to the bottom, and you do see that it does work on other hardware types, other single board computers or other computers, but we're going to be doing it on a Raspberry Pi 4 for this video. So click how to install down here where it says install on a Raspberry Pi 4 and go to the first step right here. So. Right here it says get everything ready. So I kind of already went through all of this in the beginning of the video, but you can you can read through here to make sure that you have everything needed for this process. And once you have everything, you can go to step number two, and that is downloading Umbral OS. So this is going to be a package file that we can write to an SD card to be able to run on the Raspberry Pi 4. So right here, click download Umbral OS. It's going to open up a new tab and start downloading it on our system. And while that's downloading, you can go to step three, and it says download Belena Etcher, which is a software that we use to flash this image onto an SD card so that we can use it on the Raspberry Pi 4. But personally, 
I don't really want to use Blend Etcher. Instead, I'm going to be using the Raspberry Pi Imager. So this is available for all three operating systems, and you can use it on Mac, Windows, Linux, all those things. It is just like Blend Etcher, but I just it seems a little bit better for me in some cases. So I'm going to be using that for this video. You can go ahead and use Blend Etcher if you prefer. So open up your preferred flashing software and click Choose OS. Scroll down, go Use Custom and go right here and choose Umbral OS. Click choose storage and choose your SD card. So I have a 15.9 gigabyte SD card. So it's not that big because most of my files are gonna be on that external hard drive. And once you have that ready, click right and click yes. And allow this thing to just write it to your SD card. It shouldn't take too terribly long, I assume, but you know, be patient. All right, so after the flashing is done, you're going to want to take that SD card out of your main PC, plug it into your Raspberry Pi 4. But before you turn it on, you actually need to insert your external storage, just like it says on the Umbra website right here. So take that external hard drive, as I'm doing right now, plug it into the USB 3 port on your Raspberry Pi 4, and plug in the power cable. And you don't actually need a monitor for this setup, so you're just going to plug it in. You you don't need a keyboard, you don't need a mouse, just turn on your Raspberry Pi 4 and it should hopefully boot up. So we're going to head over to our main desktop computer once again to try to access this new home server. All right, so now that we have everything connected up on our Raspberry Pi 4 and now that it is powered up as it says in step 9, we can go ahead and go to step 10 which is accessing our home server or our Bitcoin node. So to do this, we have to go to this website right here, umbral.local. So first of all, we are going to try that. So I'm going to right click and go open link in new tab. And as you can see, it seems like it's working, but one quick note. So if this link doesn't work for you and it just doesn't ever load up, then you can follow this guide right here and use the angry IP scanner to scan your IP addresses on your network and to find your IP address. So if this doesn't work for you, try out this right here but because this is working for me we're going to do this and hopefully it works out for you as well so here it is and right now it is still trying to start up the umbral service on our raspberry pi 4 so let's hope it works all right so here we are and that did take too long it took a little bit but now we are on our umbral server and wow this ui or this user interface looks incredible so your personal server is now ready to set up so i'll click start and let's go ahead and start setting this up so i'm going to fill in this credentials right here and you can do the same on your own system all right so now i'm creating my system i typed in my credentials and now it is creating my user account and it says congratulations so let's click next and here we are on our main system. So we have a few applications here that we can install for our server. And it says view more in the app store. So I'll click that. So here is the app store. And wow, is this user interface incredibly beautiful. This is just insane. So I can minimize right here. We have home on the bottom. We have app store. We have settings, which we can configure some stuff in the settings application. And we also have light mode, which hurts your eyes probably, and we have log out. So we know we have a beautiful system up and running right now, so that is incredible. But why did we start this process? Well, we wanted to create a Bitcoin node on the Raspberry Pi 4. So I'm going to click view more in App Store, and right in the App Store, here is the Bitcoin node. And there is some more crypto stuff in here if you're interested, but we're going to be going with the Bitcoin node for this video. So I'm going to click it right here. And as you can see, it says it is compatible, which is amazing. And here it is it kind of looks like an iOS app store type of thing, but this will allow us to run it on our Pi 4. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click install. So interesting enough, it says this may take a few minutes, but I personally would assume that this would take much longer than a few minutes. But let's exit and see if it still would be installing. One quick note, when we plugged in that external hard drive, it actually did add it to our system because right here it says that we have a total of 983 gigabytes of storage. So we do, it is using that external storage right out of the bat. You don't have to do anything specific, it just works, which is really cool. So that is working. And let's go to App Store again. So it says that the Bitcoin node is installing, so I guess I'm just going to have to be patient. This is a pretty big app, as I assume, so we'll be patient and hope that this thing works out well.
Oh, looky there. So the Bitcoin node already installed. All right, so sorry for any of the confusion that I gave off earlier. So the Bitcoin node, like the application, is now installed on our system. And we have a beautiful launch pad type of thing right here that we can click. And it should launch the Bitcoin node application for us right now. But what I didn't really understand before was that the blockchain is not really installed yet. So currently it's trying to synchronize, it's trying to download all of it onto our system. And this does this will take probably a few days for it to happen. It does take quite a long time. So you so what you do basically, like we said, we installed it and then you just kind of have to leave your Raspberry Pi 4 up and running for quite a few days to actually get the Bitcoin node up and running. So, you know, just you have to be patient and hope that this thing is working currently mine is staying at zero percent i hopefully hopefully it does continue to start pick up and working but you know that it's a pretty crazy easy setup when you think about it i mean installing it on a raspberry pi 4 and it only like it really only took a couple of minutes which is just incredible and you know what the amazing thing is you aren't limited to just this on this Umbral system. There are many more applications in the App Store that you can go ahead and take a look at and play around with on your own system. Like, don't be shy. Just have fun, play around with these applications. For example, I would recommend trying out Nextcloud, Photo Prism. Um, if you wanna access this server from outside of your house, Tailscale is incredible. So, you know, just play around with the system. There is a lot you can, get, you can do in here other than just the Bitcoin node. And it should be a pretty fun experience. And this system looks really amazing. So, yeah, this is basically where I'm going to end the video. So, I hope you guys, if you were following, were able to set up a Bitcoin node on your Pi 4 successfully. And I hope you just enjoy your experience while doing this on your Pi 4. So, with all that said, thanks for watching. Oh, and please like and subscribe. That would mean a lot. Thank you.